What is going on everybody? Stockopolis Jack here, bringing you another video. And today, we are going to talk about Northwest Biotherapeutics, more located on the over-the-counter exchange NWBO. Now, as you can see, as of today, it's been a, you know, a pretty rough day in the markets, but, um, you know, I'm going to talk about this stock today, currently sitting at a dollar forty-two, with a market cap a billion dollars. As you can see, there must there hasn't been much run as of late. But the stock has been down a little bit. But we're going to get right into this stock. And if you never heard tell of it before, we'll read a description here now. So what is Northwest Biotherapeutics? They develop cancer vaccines designed to treat a broad range of zo of solid tumor cancers more effectively than current treatments and without the side effects and chemotherapy drugs. MW Boyle's perpetuary manufacturing technology enables the company to produce its personalized vaccine in an efficient, cost-effective manner. It's always good. <laughs> the company has a broad platform technology for DC Vax Detroit cell-based vaccines. The company's lead product, DCVex-L, is currently in a 348 patent phase 3 trial for patents with newly diagnosed glioblastoma multiforme, GMB. I hope I uh, somewhat stated that right. <laughs> the most aggressive and lethal brain cancer, as you can see, this GMB. The company's second product, DCVex Direct, is currently in a 60-patient trial. Uh, phase one and two for direct injection into all types of in orbital solid tumor cancers. And as you see, the company has also conducted a phase one, two trial with DC facts for late stage ovarian cancer together with the University of Pennsylvania. And they've previously received clearance from the FDA for a 612 patient phase three trial with this third product, DC Vex prostate for late stage prostate cancer. So there hasn't really been any news as of late within the stock, but we're going to read the last thing they released, which was 27 days ago, I believe, on March 16th. As you can see, they announced development completed for initial product capacity of Sostin UK facility. And it just goes on to say they're developing the DC Vex personalized immune therapies for cell tumor cancers like we just read. As you can see, back in March, they announced that the development of the initial product capacity of the company Swanson UK Advanced Manufacturing Facility has been completed, and the facility is now in the final stages of preparing for an application for certified certification by the UK Medicines and Health Products Regulatory Authorization. So that's that, you know, they're basically expanding their manufacturing facilities and whatnot. But this, and this is the big thing about this company. This news on October 5th of last year, they announced the data lock of phase three trial. As you can see, they announced the phase three trial of DC Vex L. As we read for glioblastoma, the data has been locked. Now, usually, I've seen a lot of people say it would be out before Christmas, because it's typically out 90 days after the lock of this data. But as you may know, the date, it is the middle of April, and yet still no, you know, no data given to the public of how this trial went. So that could, that is a bit, bit concerning, but, you know, this stock is extremely risky. You know, if you think it went well, this stock could skyrocket, but if it didn't go well, the data did not go well, you know, it's probably, it's not really not, probably not going to move much more. But it's like just literally all their press releases here. They haven't had much news. But anyways, guys, just wanted to bring this one to your attention. Thanks for watching. Of course, have a great day.